Here is our new magic, magic, and let me show you how to use it. You see, for this magic, we have um, four four bars here for each two for one, like the cylinder materials printing, like this. Sometimes you need to do some, uh, you need to adjust the, the position or adjust the lines of each bars. Let me show you how to do it. For this one, don't move it. For this one, you can move this one. Let me show you. First, find this one. You can use the uh, this wheels to find and loose the screws. This way. Here. Also loose these two screws. Then you can move this to adjust the adjust the position. Sometimes you, you need to print the line, long one, sometimes you need to print the short one, so adjust like this and see if the position is okay or not. If it's okay, tighten the screws here again. Make sure it make sure it will not move. Then it's fine. We also have this one here. This one is also very useful. You see, here we have you can secure this one on this this or this it's just happy to secure the position of the uh, of the cylinder materials like this one when you secure this one just put put the cylinder material here and it will not move on this whole horizontal direction it will not move then once it is cured once you done the setup next time you no need to find the position where you need to put the cylinder materials just put here it's fine also where this small part put depends on your requirement you can put it here you can put it here or even here or even here just depends on the length of the cylinder material and how you need to print As for these two stations, it's all the same. This one keep keep it stable. If you want to move this, loose the screws here. Then you, you can move, uh, adjust it. For our mug jig, we have three. We have three options. You see the wheel. We have the big one. We have the small one. The small one is for three to six centimeter, di centimeter diameter cylinder materials printing, which is for the very small, small cylinders. This one for for the cylinder with the six to twelve centimeter diameter so it depends on you which option you want to choose you want to choose uh, one big one small or two both two both big or two both small just make sure before you before you place the order and then we will do this setup for you 
Now let me show you how to assemble the magic on our Z4, Z6 UV printer. You see, this is the magic. Uh, it's a little bit heavy, so need to be careful. On the virtual direction, you see, for the magic, there has two metal bars. One is here, one is here. Just to put to touch the the uh, black metal part of the machine on two sides, it's okay. As for the whole, as for the position of the uh, position in the horizontal direction, just uh, make sure that the. Uh, that the the, the magic fit with the edge of the table on one side, then it's fine. Okay, let's go. On the back side, this one you see there has the connected slot, slot, and this secure like this. Then it's okay. When you put it the bottom on this on this one, then first we need to we need to make sure where you need where you need to print on the on the bottom. Uh, for the uh, vertical direction, no need to worry because for, because we have already aligned our magic with the print head. It will always print on the high point line of the cylinder materials. So. What we need to do is find the uh, find the position of the start printing uh, of the we find the start printing position of the uh, on the ho horizontal direction. You see here, for example, the st start printing position of the table is here. We need to measure how far it is from this point. Like this one, let's say it's uh, on this direction is about uh, nine centimeter away from the start position on the table. So in the software, we need to move the uh, print picture to the left side of uh, nine centimeter. Later, I will show you. Do this setup in the software. Now, uh, to, to make sure that the print head will not hit the hit the 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 print bottle, we move the carriage carriage beam up, and then we set up the print height. Move use the left button, move the print head out. And use the down button, make it down. To make sure the to make sure that the print height, the height of the surface of the print height to the highest point of the uh, print bottle is about two two three. Millimeter. It's just like uh, a, the thickness of the coin. It's exactly the same print height when you print on the flat materials. After you you did the setup, it's fine here, and then we we do the setup in the software. Now let me show you how to do the setup in the. P82 driver and the A2 driver and the printing software. It's Chinese now. Let's change to English. Here is the normal setup. For this step alignment number uh, number, usually is 2020. But you you can also find the uh, 
the step alignment parameter on the big white paper which we put on the table of the machine. You can find it. If you don't know, ask your sales. Take a picture to ask, ask, ask your sales and uh, to give you the number. He will find it on the paper. Now, if you want to print on the cylinder or mark, speed change to low. As for the white and color setup, you can choose to print both white and color or only white only color. Here, keep half of the print head because you can only use half of the print head when you print on the cylinder or mark. Here, yes. And here, for all the options, clo close, low, mid, high, should the parameter here should be set, uh, should be five five seven zero. If it's if now it's five five seven zero. If not, you need to change. Make just check, check. Okay, it's this one now. Save here. The setup here in the driver is done. Now setup in the print software. Here I only show you how to do the setup when you uh, for the position. You see, this is the position of the of this one where you should put front, back, left, right. When you print on the cylinder materials, the on the vertical direction, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's zero or it's 100 because we, we have already aligned our uh, software, aligned our um, uh, mug jig and the print head. It will always print on the middle, uh, middle size, which means the highest point line of the cylinder materials. So here just keep zero. This one is mat matters. You see this point is a zero zero. This this point is also the start print position on the table. Now we need to check how far this point, this start print point on the bottle is away from the start print position from of the table before we measure it is nine centimeter so here we choose nine as for the other setup it's all the same is all the same when you print on the flat materials you can refer to the menu after all the after you done the setup on the of other options, you can send to print. It's done.